What's up everyone? Welcome back to One Strange Adventure and welcome to the next video and welcome to Salona Ridge. Now this RV resort is one of our absolute favorites. It's our favorite place to go and spend and relax and just have a good time. Yes. And I would venture to say this is one of Georgia's premier RV resorts. I think so too. All right, let's go check out the resort. Now that you're at Talona Ridge RV Resort, when you first pull in, there's these big spaces for RVs to just kind of park. It's a staging lane. Staging lanes. And then you have this building that's behind us where you actually check in. Yes. And it is a little store, has a couple of different types of candy, drinks, things like that, merchandise. Also within this little staging area parking lot, they have some complimentary power sites. So if you don't get here on time or by the time they close, you could potentially just stay there for the night and then check in in the morning. Right, and that way you don't have to rush. This place is really awesome. They come out, they greet you with all of the instructions and your site and everything like that. And then you get the uh, the golf cart, the golf cart escort to your site. Yes. And they are some massive sites. Yes, very awesome. And then they also, they're all gated too. So once you are in the park and um, have your site, you don't have to worry as much because it is gated and the outsiders aren't gonna just come in and, and tour through your stuff. So right. um, it makes it really good. Yeah, they pride themselves on being secure and yes. you having your spot while you're here during yes, your stay. That's, that's your home. And while you're staying here, they actually have three tiers of RV sites. Yes. The first one is Eagle Crest. In a beautiful view. In a beautiful view. You yes. have the mountain ranges all the way around. The second level is Falcon Ridge. It is very unique um, yeah. because it's in the mountainside and the sites are, some of them are sideways across the mountain and they have like little decks. It's really cool. It's a beautiful sunrise on that side of the park. So those sites are positioned perfectly for sunrise. Yeah, you're not gonna get the beautiful sunset that you get at the top, mm -hmm. but you do have access, or you do have a view to the beautiful sunrise. Right. The, and the sites, like she said, are very unique in that you're actually pulling in sideways. Mm -hmm. Then you have a deck that goes over the ridge. Yep. And then some of them up there are also back in, yep. um, as well as the, the pull throughs, but they've done a really nice job with that area. And on that level, they have pickleball courts and they're putting in a new pool. Yes. So they do have a pool and we'll show you all of that in a little while up at the top. Uh, but they do have some more work that's going on on that, yeah, that they're middle on, section. They're on phase two of building, right. basically. So down here where we're standing is the lower level of the campground and it's called Hawk Valley. Right. And, and it's just as pretty. It's beautiful. It's just that you don't have the sunrise and sunset view. But you're looking at But you're looking at these mountains. And, the hill and, that yeah that yeah. everything sits on. So it's still a gorgeous area regardless of if it's down here or up there. Yep. Every every part of this park is beautiful. Down here in Hawk Valley they actually have two dog parks. Right. One for big dogs, one for little dogs. Yep. Right outside outside the dog park area is a pavilion that you can have like with the gas fire um, grill and picnic tables but mm -hmm. on the other side of that is a handicapped bathroom and a dog wash yeah the um, dog wash station is awesome yeah it has two with the big one and the little one uh, with the dryers and stuff in there so that's really nice we actually gave the doodles a bathroom there last time we were here <laughs> we're gonna go do that again yep <laughs> uh, and then there's two bathroom areas that are going to have laundry in there the laundry machines are coin or app there is going to be, they're still in the building process, but there is going to be a recreational area for the kids that go around the perimeter of the campground. Right. Um, right now it has the rock climbing wall and the, the logs that you stand on and walk across and the balance boards and stuff like that. Um, I tried my best. The, the little kid in him tried it the other day. The walking path goes from Hawk Valley all the way up to Falcon Ridge. Yep. And, and they're adding steps. They're adding steps from Falcon Ridge up to Eagle Crest. Right. And then, so you can go to the pickleball courts, you can go to the different bathhouses. If one is full, you can come to a different one. 
um, and then there'll be additional pools and they're going to be adding eventually another building uh, like a recreational building right on that level as well which would be really nice yeah they do have a gym here today mm -hmm. a fitness center yep. which is great uh yeah it has a hot tub heated pool yeah the, the fitness center has a couple of treadmills and a bike and weights and a yoga ball things like that and so it's nice there is a there isn't a water source inside the gym but they do have a water fill up station over by the pool which is just around the corner of right. the building so yeah these are your complimentary um hookups for if you come late at night you coming this bridge is for the class a's to be pulled in so they can get the view out the front window falcon ridge has um pull in back in and pull through sites yeah it's but it's a different pull through you just kind of pull up to the curve <laughs> yeah it's a, it's it reminds me of a lot of the state parks um how they have like the little yeah. pull off it's like a pull off on the side of a highway right like just pull off um but it has this beautiful deck um that we're currently using yep. um with the propane fire pit which is pretty nice that's pretty mm -hmm. cool yeah, I, I could definitely see like, especially class A's, like this would be really nice too. Mm -hmm. uh, our RV with the side patio, we'd have to keep it away from the fence a little bit more. Yes. In order to to utilize use these sites, it. so we can utilize. Them. And the other thing to think about is like, if you have pets, you don't you don't have access to any grass right here in your site. Correct. It's all concrete and and wooden patio. And that's because of the the, the mountain. Right. The, the side of the hill um, to utilize the space. Uh, right. You're parking on the cutoff and then the deck is overhanging the, the mountain yep. bridge. So it's not as pet friendly, but the dog parks are just right down the hill. Right. So Now, another thing to consider is the higher you get up the hill, the windier it gets. The windier it gets. The more exposed to the elements yeah. you are. We went through a really bad storm while we were here and uh, it was, you're pretty exposed up there at the top. This one, you have a little bit of uh, you're being blocked by the hill, and then the valley, you have a lot of protection because you got the whole mountain side beside you. Yes, so the Hawk Valley is the less windy out yeah. of the three. You can't go wrong with the views up at the top. Like so, if you if you want the views, go to the top. If you want less wind, you can stay at the bottom. And if you don't want to walk the hills or the stairs and you don't want to rent a golf cart or anything like that. And they, which they do, they, they rent golf they carts. They rent golf carts and then they're trying to make everything bike friendly, user friendly. They have walking paths. Um, they'll be putting in additional things across the street for the new piece of property that they just purchased. Right. If you have dogs and you need the dog washer or the laundry, things like that, and you want grass, down here on Hawk Valley is the most open right. I think. The top part does have dog walk areas where they have like your poop station and your trash can and things like that. They do have a bunch of those around that area mm -hmm. so don't get me wrong our dogs love the top as well yep. um, but they just can't be off leash yep. up there and yeah. so if I don't have time to walk them down the hill um, we just keep them on leash. Right all right so one of the coolest features of this RV resort is the Grand Hall. The Grand Hall. It's just, it's amazing. It's such an awesome place to have a, an event, yes. which we've had switch up huddles here before. Yes, we've been to a couple huddles here. Um, it holds a good amount of people. Uh, it has a warming kitchen for caterers. Yep. It has a wonderful space for church services. Yep. Um, we are actually going to be attending Easter Sunday service here yep. um, for sunrise, because the sunrise is through the front windows, which is amazing. Right. The windows are just ginormous. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go and around to the back side of this place. Yes, where the we're views gonna, are. It's actually the front. Yeah. This is technically the back. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna show you the view from standing like on the patio of this place. Yes, it's amazing. It's, it's beautiful. It also happens to be right beside the pool and the hot tub, which is heated. Obviously the hot tub's heated, but the pool is also heated. There's also a little lounge area. So if you just want to like sunbathe, um, there's actually a lounge area on the other side of the pool that's down a little ways. Right. So you don't have like the kids running around and things like that. Or if you just want your kids to be out there with you playing, it's a good area to, it's fenced on one side and there's a wall behind you on the other. So yep. it's a really nice area. And they've built this little overlook patio over on the other you. side we're gonna to have to show you guys that too let's go uh show you guys the view and walk around uh this area yeah. just to give you an idea give you, give you a tour yeah
just to recap, Talina Ridge has the three different levels of RV spots. Yep. They have 250 acres across the street that they're working on building. So I don't know how many levels or campsites that eventually it will have. It's going to be amazing. It will be That's amazing. All I can say is it's going to be amazing. At the time of this video, they have one pool and one jacuzzi. They are adding a whole nother set of stuff down on the second level. Yep. So it will not match up with this video because they are, that is like the plans are approved. The ground will break this summer. So, um, so that will be happening. We look forward to, to new and, and improved stuff. Yeah. Um, when that happens and then we'll try to keep you updated when we can as far as pricing goes everybody asks us about pricing pricing changes based on the seasons most with most rv parks yep. and rv resorts this place offers a nightly weekly and monthly rate um so please just call them and ask and then also you we'll know. have the link to their website in the description of this video yeah. so make sure you just uh, you check that out. Yeah, check the website. It does give you prices on there to, based on which type of site you are, are looking for. And again, it changes. And then they do offer discounts sometimes throughout the year. And um, with our friends and stuff, they do discount codes for like the huddles and things like that. So just keep that in mind when you're calling. Well, I hope you've liked this video from beautiful Tolona Ridge yes. RV Resort. I hope you love Tolona Ridge as much as we do. Yes. It's and definitely our favorite. Make sure before, just go ahead and pause right now, call them up make your reservation. Yes, and let them know we sent you. Let them know One Strange Adventure sent you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that'd be really cool. I, I, you're gonna love it. I, I have no doubts that you're gonna love the area. And if you don't know what to do when you get here, ask somebody. They all grew up in this area. Well, yep. most of them grew up in this area, all the employees and stuff. They have books laying around that you can have for like guides and hiking trails and, and things like that. There is so much to do in this area and it's so uh, underutilized. Yep. Um, so definitely take advantage of it and go out and explore. All right. Well, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, make sure you subscribe. And ring that bell so you get notified when we release our next video. And until the next strange adventure. Keep making your own. Hoo. All right, so we are out here in the middle of nowhere. We're getting a sneak peek. <laughs> yes, across the street from Tolona Ridge. They own 250 acres. Mm -hmm. Can I make it wider? About 250 acres. And uh, we got a sneak peek at the plans for, for over here. And we have to say, like, if you haven't added Tolona to the ridge yet, or Tolona to your list yet, go ahead and do that. Yes, all their information is going to be down in the description. Yep. Make sure you book with them. Yep, and this is Wes, the mastermind behind uh, the plans over here. <laughs> Uh, but we're we're currently standing on this ridge overlooking a fully stocked pond that's fit, like naturally spring fed and yes. it's just going to be really nice. Yes. So more to come on that, but definitely add to Luna to your list. <laughs> Love it. <laughs>